So let's take a look at doing that. So we have our content source. Our content source looks okay. When we save it, it looks like it rebuilds without any errors happening here, so that's good. Now, we wanna think about accommodating this in our index.html. If we were to look at our main site right now, it's going to be broken. So this was the plenty site before. We actually removed the title, so now it's going to be undefined. Um, let's come back over here and find the corresponding template. So in our layouts folder, we're going to have content that corresponds to the content folder here. And we have this index.spell file. So this is gonna to correspond to the single type here, this index.json. If I show this, see that we're looking for this title here. Now, um, we're printing the title and we're styling it a little bit, but we don't have that title anymore, so that's why that's not showing up. Now, let's come over here to our global, and we have a couple things here. We have our HTML, and our HTML is setting up this kind of route, routing for this um, index file that actually gets put, pulled into this Svelte component here. But we can add things like our navbar and our footer, so we can do something like that. So let's, let's go ahead and give that a shot. Let's, um, let's make a new file in here. We'll call this nav.spelt. And we'll create another file. We'll call it footer.spelt. And we'll save those. And inside nav.spelt, it's going to look a lot like the HTML from this site here. So let's take a look at that real quick. We have a navbar. Navbar has a link with an image, and it has a button, and it has a div with some other links in it. So, so this button must be um, have a little bit to do with the responsive behavior for this theme. So let's take a, a look at that real quick. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So that must be the responsive menu. Okay, so if I were to shrink this down, yeah, you can kind of see it like that. We can replicate something like that. Let's not worry about that at the moment. Let's just worry about the structure here. Whoops. And, ooh, and I want this to come up with it. And let's grab this whole header section here. Let's go right click on it and do edit as HTML. Then we can control A to copy that and then Control-C to copy, sorry, Control-A to select all, Control-C to copy. And then I can Control-V, paste that in here. Now, you'll see here that there's a header wrapper and there's also this nav. So since we called this component nav, we probably really just want the nav section in here. So what we can do is I can pull this out. I'm gonna Control, or I'm gonna X in Vim to cut that and come over here to my HTML, and inside my body, I'm gonna P to paste the header in here, and that looks okay. And I'm gonna save that, and I'm gonna come back to my nav, and I'm gonna to come to the bottom here, and I'm gonna cut the closing tags for that, and I'll save that again, I'll come back over here. Whoops, come back over to my file here. Okay, so I'll save that as well. And let's get the indentation right here. So I'll highlight this, I'll move it over a little bit. Okay, so I like that. And then inside here is where we're actually going to show the nav component. So I can come here and I can give this some spacing and I can get the nav component. And we just have to import that. So we would say import nav from dot forward slash nav dot svelte and finish that off. So now it's getting that nav component. Save that. So we have an error here. So the header component is being closed and said it was not open. So we have header. Now svelte does not seem to like this closing header on this. Now this should be valid HTML5. I'm not sure why that's happening, but it's having trouble with this header being closed. So let's uh, let's take a look over here what's going on in the nav. Maybe there's something funky going on here. Let's start formatting this a little bit. I'm gonna grab the whole thing, jump to the bottom with Shift G, and then I'll just push it all over like that. Let's get rid of this spacing here. I'll just format some of this. Can get rid of these absolute URLs to the GitHub page that it's currently on. 
and we'll make it relevant for just our particular project. Okay, so that's formatted a little better now. It looks like that is fine HTML. So let's take a look back over here. Okay, I see what's going on now. So this body is not closing. So that just needs a closing tag there like that. And that should fix it. Okay, so if I save that now, the build came through successfully. That's okay now. All right, that was our issue there. Our nav is formatted a little bit better. That's great. If we were to take a look at our main site here and reload, okay, we're starting to see something. So obviously none of those images are coming through. We have nothing saved here, but some of that stuff's coming through and none of our styles. So we're using these classes over here. If you look at the nav, I'm not sure if that's bootstrap or what class structure this is, but we might wanna just rewrite some of this stuff at some point to have a little bit lighter of a site, but we can get there in a moment. Let's just get some more of this structure set up first come over, I'm going to get out of the mobile view. I'm going to take a look at this image here. So this is the logo.png. So let's grab this and right click and open a new tab. So we have this and I can right click on it and I can save the image and we'll just save it on our desktop as logo.png. That's great. Basically what I'll do is I'll come back here to my editor and we want to put this in our assets folder here. So I'll open this up, I'll move this over, and then I'll just come over here and I'll just drag this logo into our assets folder. Okay, so it's been dragged in there. And then let's just update our reference to it. So before we did logo.png, let's make sure we have assets logo png. Save that. Let's take a look at the website. Okay, so at least we're getting that logo coming now. That's great. Um, and we'll have to style the, the nav to look a little bit better, but at least that's there now. Website again, and let's take a look inside the head to see some of the style sheets and fonts that are being added to the project. So it looks like they have the bootstrap min here being pulled in. So they have bootstrap being pulled in and they have the icons here. They have slick CSS. I believe this is for their slider and they have some of their own styles here it looks like and um, some favicon information okay so we probably want to pull in bootstrap so i'm going to just come up here and look up bootstrap cdn and let's come here to the documentation so there is a cdn that you can use so you don't have to actually download bootstrap yourself you can just reference this here so let me copy this and for now, let's just come over here into our site and let's go to the head section here. And let's make sure we add this style sheet right here. So we're going to paste that style sheet in. And so now we should have the bootstrap style sheet there. And if I were to go back to the website, and refresh, you can see that it goes in, it styles that main header there. So it's getting the styles from that bootstrap CDN. This is fine for now. We'll, we'll just use bootstrap to mock out the homepage here. And then if we want to replace bootstrap with our own custom styles, we can always do that. But for now, we'll just leave it like this.